Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Taurus friends and friends of Taurus. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So, Taurus, looking at your energy here in meditation, there were some messages that came through. I was actually given a glyph as well, a symbol, so we'll talk about that. Some oracle cards were pulled, and then we'll move into tarot messages as we do. So, Taurus, good to see you. I missed you guys. I know it's been a minute since we've had a Taurus reading. Um, been restructuring, so thank you for your flexibility and patience as well. So in meditation, um, I was given this symbol, like I said, um, and I guess we'll, we'll start with this. We'll start with this here. So feel free to pause the video if you want to draw this out to be able to utilize it. Feel free. Um, this is the symbol here. And the title Garbage Extractor is what came with this. So, garbage extractor especially. Um, I really took some time in meditation requesting a different title. <laughs> and um, there's no point in that, right? Like, I don't know, whatever spirit wants to say is, is what's being said. So, it just to me, like I, like, I like alliterations. I like things to rhyme. I like things to, you know, it's that mercurial energy, that Gemini in me. But anyway, garbage extractor. The word garbage, for whatever reason... Um, seems to be very important about what's going on right now. And as I was meditating on garbage, especially, why garbage? Why does it need to be garbage? Um, what came through was how to speak of such an ugly thing. Mm. Interesting. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Let me give you, let me give you some more information on how to use this, this symbol. My bad. So, um, drawing this out, the instructions were actually to place this on the skin. So you could do this like on a piece of paper. You can put that on your skin. You can draw directly on your skin if you feel comfortable with that. The option that came through is kind of in between um, was uh, so you don't have to draw directly on yourself, like putting a, a piece of plastic wrap or saran wrap over your skin, taping that and drawing over the top of that, Something just needing to have that against your skin, okay? Um, and what this is supposed to help with is purging to bring something to the surface um, as far as garbage I feel like the message that's coming through here with garbage is our perception of what is garbage um, there's something about like the way that we're talking to ourselves the way the things that are coming up to be purged what we may consider garbage having that um, how to speak of such an ugly thing that was, uh, when that came through, it made me feel that this was coming from you, coming from another individual going, well, this is so ugly. I don't even want to talk about it, let alone have it come up. Well, now's the time to have it come up, okay? I am filming this on July 5th here, so new moon in Cancer. Great time to start fresh. And what better way to start fresh than to purge the rot, right? Right. So, um, yes, that was your uh, channel message that came through here. So feel free to utilize that symbol. And I will eventually be putting together an Oracle deck, you guys, so that all of the symbols that have come through are accessible um, for everybody. Okay. Um, the Urban Crow Oracle deck is what we started with here. Two cards came out, Exposed and Curiosity. So Exposed... Exposed here is um, valuable information coming forward <laughs> or becoming clear was a, a portion of what the book said. This could this can be um, like something coming to light, being exposed. It can also refer to how you feel about being seen yourself, being exposed, being vulnerable. And I feel like both are true. There's a need to be vulnerable to allow yourself to be comfortable with the discomfort of being vulnerable, um, to allow truth to be exposed as well. Allowing yourself to be exposed allows the truth to be exposed, whatever this truth is. Um, I, don't, I don't necessarily feel like it's um, anything you've done that's been kept secret, like being exposed in that way. It could be regarding other people. I feel like it's more information becoming clear surrounding somebody else. Uh, but also for you with the garbage extractor here, 
information coming up that maybe you haven't been ready to see for yourself, okay? So being exposed to yourself, not necessarily being exposed to somebody else, just to quell any anxiety or fear there. So curiosity here, this is um, uh, the portion in the book that stood out to me was just scratching the surface or a need to look deeper. A request to have that curiosity to take, to take whatever this journey is. Um, I do feel like the symbol, it reminds me of actually like a rivet, um, which is interesting. Bringing two, th two components together um, in a stylish and secure <laughs> way. Um, having that come apart here, I feel like there's something that you put together, encapsulated in a way that is asking to be released. There's something in between inside of this container, whatever was contained, that needs to come up. It's time to look at it, okay? It is time. <laughs> All right, Taurus, let's get into your tarot messages here. So we're going to start with the This May Hurt Tarot. Uh, what do we have here for Taurus, please, Spirit? And huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Hello, hello. Thank you for your love and support, as always. If you are curious about becoming a member yourself, there's a join button next to the subscribe button underneath this video. And sometimes YouTube glitches out and that doesn't show up. So there's a link in the description of the video here, too, that takes you to the join page, okay? And while you're in there, feel free to check out my website if you're interested in private readings. I do have that open and available currently. I would love to help you out. Okay, Ace of Swords. And this did fall out as I was, like, literally fell out as I was shuffling the deck earlier. So this is your hope. Hopes and dreams, what you're looking for. Um, the truth. Hmm. <laughs> the truth. Or victory. Or a little bit of both. I do feel like they're, um, like whatever this is that's coming up, I kind of feel, whether it's something that's exposed from somebody else, like I said, you're seeking the truth in a situation, what in the, what in the hell's going on here? Um, maybe you can feel something just beneath the surface, and that's where curiosity is coming in here too, asking you to uh, dig a little bit deeper. Not to obsess, like I'm seeing like picking at the skin, not to become obsessive, but to uh, allow a natural purge. I feel like the garbage extractor here, that's exactly what that's doing. Is like a, a cleanse, if you will. <laughs> it's, a, it's allowing your body to do what it knows how to do, to heal, to start purging the sliver, whatever foreign material <laughs> in the form of information that's been sequestered away or having to do with someone else is coming forward. Um, so yes, you're hoping for the truth. You're hoping for uh, no lies here. No bullshit for Taurus. Fair enough, fair enough. So second deck here, we're gonna be using the Phantasma Tarot. What do we have for Taurus, please, Spirit? Um, this is a general message, you guys, so please keep that in mind. You are intelligent, you are a powerful co-creator here as well. So please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you. Messages. And leave the rest behind. Check out your rising moon Venus and the other major placements in your chart. We do have every sign in our chart, just depends on where. So I encourage you to take a look for a more complete picture of what's going on for you. Strength here. So this is um, your fear, anxiety, or aversion. This is, uh, and not quite like, so, okay, so the curiosity card here, this kind of reminds me of judgment. Going within, the judgment card, going within, deciding if what you see is, that is there, if you want that to be there or not. Strength is, ki is kind of giving me that vibe too, so there's a fear aversion towards allowing this to come up. Whatever this, whatever this is that the garbage extractor is helping you bring forward. Um, it is love winning over hate, okay? And I feel, mm, that's interesting. For those of you that that information that's been hidden is, is within you, I feel like it's the opposite of, of strength here, the light side of strength, um, where the higher mind is winning over the lower animal impulses. Maybe, I mean, you're human, so it's probably happened somewhere. There's somewhere along the line where uh, the lower animal impulse is won over the higher mind, right? 
because it do sometimes. I feel like whatever situation this is that has happened there, that's that's kind of the component that you've locked away. Out of shame, out of guilt. Um, but this coming up isn't about you feeling guilt or shame over it. Like healthy shame is important, but um, this tells me that this isn't healthy shame if it's locked away. That sounds more like existential shame, which is something that um, is going to be an after effect of toxic programming, really. So whatever this is, is it's an opportunity here for you to come correct for yourself or with others, okay? So let's get into your main message here. Death to start for general, your general energy. Uh, yeah, it's time to, time to transition here. <laughs> Death comes for us all. No matter what uh, we try to throw at it, okay? Whether we try to pay it off, try to own it with power, try to succumb to it, it will come no matter what. No matter what we do, it will have the same effect. So what I'm getting with this information coming up or coming forward for you guys is the, the point of it is to help you move through it, <laughs> whatever it is, to move through the situation. I, I just feel like it's been um, toxifying your system, whatever it is that's been locked away. Let's keep going. Wheel of Life. <laughs> Well, hey, another card about um, uh, you not being in control of this. <laughs> like this is this is coming up. So I feel like with that symbol, the intention of that extra effort is to help make this a little bit more comfortable of a transition. This is coming up. Something is being exposed. It may be you, maybe somebody else. Like I said, overall though, this isn't something. Death is not to be feared. The wheel of life is not to be feared. Um, this is for your highest good. It's for whoever else's highest good is involved in this situation. But the wheel is turning. This is, um, I do feel an uptick of positive experience. As soon as this comes up, things are able to be worked through. Things are able to be seen appropriately. Maybe um, whatever that is, if it has to do with you, and you know what this is that I'm talking about, you lock that away at a time where um, maybe you weren't, well, you're not who you are now, right? And you're thinking that in having to deal with that situation now, you may respond the same or it may be the same kind of feeling as it was when you locked it away. But what you're not taking into consideration is that uh, you are a different person now. You have grown. Maybe you are more emotionally intelligent more spiritually strong now's the time now's the time to to take care of it okay um and in doing so allowing that to come up being brave enough to face whatever that is allows you to bring more positivity into your life the wheel turning in your favor okay i feel like if you try both of these cards really if you try to avoid this energy because you can for a minute you can pretend, you can close your eyes, right? <laughs> pretend it's not going on. Uh, when we avoid death, though, or try to avoid death, that's when the tower comes in. Where now we didn't have a chance or a choice to start with, but now with the tower, it's, it's more painful. It's a longer way to fall, right? And with the wheel of life, the wheel of fortune, um, we don't control the turning of the wheel either. We control how we respond to it. But if if you do try to resist this coming up, um, it's going to feel like what I'm, what's coming through is that quote by Carl Jung. I don't know the exact quote, but um, where what we don't deal with in our shadow, in our subconscious realm will continue to present itself as fate in our life. So that's kind of what I mean. If you continue to ignore it, something is gonna happen that appears as, oh, well, this is just fate. Something bad happened. Okay, all right, let's move forward. So good stuff here for you guys. Ooh, I like this. Eight of Swords comes through. Eight of Swords is um, essentially like being stuck or feeling stuck, feeling trapped. We're not actually trapped. There is a way through here. So being in the good stuff, I feel like you're, you're seeing that way through. And the way through here is um, 
not only allowing this process to happen because it's happening, but to lean into it. Leaning into the crunch is what I'm feeling. The garbage extractor here, this is leaning you leaning into maybe something that feels a little bit uncomfortable, which actually hastens your ability to get through the discomfort. You're starting to see the way through what may be feeling um, like a trapped energy or a trapped situation. Eight of Pentacles comes through here as well. I feel like, um, so this is, Eight of Pentacles is work, hard work, passion you put into work. It can be um, a caution towards burnout as well. So being, being in your good stuff here, I feel like this is, um, as you're stuck in the Eight of Swords energy here, feeling trapped, you are exhausting yourself. Draining the passion maybe that you once had for life or a relationship or a job. It could be anything, really. Could be work-related here, being, being in the Eight of Pentacles. But um, being in your good stuff, I feel like this, this pain, the discomfort, is allowed to come to an end in bringing up whatever this is that needs to be brought up. Um, I kind of... Okay, I wanted to ask specifically about like, what is this? But they're saying, hold on. Okay, we'll ask in a second. So what you don't see coming, um, what's in the dark here? Nine of Swords. <laughs> yeah, whatever this is, um, if it's information from somebody else that you've been trying to gather, the truth in a situation with someone else or with you, this is causing so much distress, so much anxiety, so many sleepless nights. The thing, um, the thing with the Nine of Swords, though, is um, we tend to not address it. It doesn't hurt bad enough that we're making a change to something. But this is a situation where it's you're being offered to make a change. You don't have to. You can continue to to stumble along. You know, if this applies to you, through the pain and the discomfort, or you can turn towards the Swords here and face them head on to ask for the truth to come forward, to bubble up. Hmm. Interesting. Six of Pentacles comes in here next to clarify the Nine of Swords. So this is your um, give and take energy. Energy moving from the inside to the outside, receiving help when you need it, giving help when you have it to give. Um, I feel like being in your, what's hidden here, what you don't see coming, is this balance being readdressed? There's something about this information that has been locked away within you or another that has caused an extreme imbalance in your relationship with yourself, to spirit, to others. So in facing this nightmare, turning to face the nightmare, you are um, fine-tuning your machine here so that, that that balance is happening again. I just see like a, someone putting oil on uh, gears, some component of a machine mechanism, allowing that to move fluidly again. Um, okay. Let's get into your challenge and then we'll ask what this is specifically because I'm curious. I feel like it's different for everybody, obviously, but um, my curiosity, I'm just curious <laughs> what this is. So your challenge here, your obstacle, you have the emperor. This is, um, this is the divine masculine. This is power, control. I feel like for some of you, this is, it's the aspect of control. You may be trying to control uh, the information side of you, like I said, whatever needs to be purged here. You may be trying to force that down, force it to not come up, but it needs to. Um, being present as well is, I think, a difficult thing for many of us here. Let's see. I'm Ten of Swords, okay. <laughs> Ten of Swords is the next to clar be clarified here, or clarifying. 
words today for sure. I know I'm not the only one. Um, Mercury's not in retrograde, but I don't know. Words are just a little tricky today. Ten of Swords here. This is um, that's a lot of pain. Rock bottom. Betrayal. For some of you, whatever this information is being exposed outside of yourself, I do think that it has something to do with an abuse of power, of control, the um, pain that comes with that as well, knowing that you were betrayed by somebody that you trusted. But this can also be you. You could be feeling, I mean, we, we can betray ourselves too, right? Yep. Yep, yep. Um, and maybe that's the situation that you've locked away. There's a moment in your history or moments where maybe you abandoned yourself. You didn't treat yourself the way that you know you deserve to be treated. It's really important to allow those components to come forward as well so that we can love those too because they don't just disappear because we don't want them to be there. <laughs> It's only going to continue to get louder. It's only going to um, start presenting even as illness, potentially, the more that we try to ignore it. Okay, I do want to ask specifically, before we get a, an animal oracle here, this is the Wild Unknown Tarot. What is this? What is this information? Spirit. Oh. Kind of a weird way that fell out. Devil here at the bottom. Well, speaking of the shadow, yeah, it's definitely something that's been sequestered to the shadow. So the sun and um, four of pentacles comes through here. Yeah, this is definitely something that has to do with your security. Four of pentacles here, your safety and security. Um, back to what I was saying with the power, power and control and, and um, betrayal. This could have been you to yourself, somebody else as well, to you. It severely messed with your safety and security and is still doing so. Having the sun come through here, this does make me think of um, the inner child. Maybe something that happened at childhood. Maybe you locked something away, not intentionally, but because you had to. Hmm. Especially as children, like we unless we're afforded, you know, psychological help when things happen, and I don't think many of us are as kids or have, um, we have to carry on, we have to survive. So the brain, the body stores that away. It doesn't disappear, but it tries to encapsulate it so that it's not affecting our daily life. But by doing that, it actually affects our daily life in ways where we don't have control. It comes up in times where we don't want it to come up, right? It appears as fate in our life. Let's get an animal oracle card here too, to finish this off here. For Taurus, please, spirit. And then we'll go into the extended portion of this reading. Butterfly, hmm, and Phoenix. So whatever this is that's happened, um, this is a huge transformative time, both the Phoenix and Butterfly have a lot to do with transformation being burned down to ash and rising like the phoenix the butterfly here um cater caterpillar going into a cocoon turning into a amorphous blob <laughs> and coming back out as a butterfly so um alchem al alchemically excuse me transforming ourselves this is a big deal i feel like can we get any more information on that information Nine of Pentacles. This is severely affecting your um, your personal abundance, your ability to think clearly, calmly, to have a um, collection of mind is what I'm hearing. Yeah, this feels this feels like a trauma, you guys. There's that Ace of Swords again, too. The truth. Okay. I don't normally go this far into it, but I just feel like there's something else here. Um, what else does Taurus need to do? Four of Cups here. 
So with Four of Cups, I feel like as far as instruction goes, um, you're being asked not to avoid it through, um, this is an encouragement not to miss an offer, something coming forward by being too focused on pessimism, um, laziness, that sort of thing, or any one thing. So what that's saying to me is like distraction too. Something maybe that you do to, to cope, to numb. Emotional sobriety, hmm. It's gonna be different for everybody, but um, there's the tower there at the bottom too. That's what I was saying here in the beginning with death. If you continue to try to, nope, nope, I don't hear it, no one's home. Um, that tower energy is gonna come through. And it will continue to come through. Like the tower can come down and you still decide not to make a change on anything, but you're gonna have a bad time. Things are gonna be a lot more difficult for you here than they need to be. So I encourage you here to give this symbol a try and open yourself up to um, what comes up within yourself or what comes forward outside of yourself, okay? I feel like it's really important to say not to control your emotional responses to something, but to allow, um, allow all voices to speak is what's coming forward. Interesting. This isn't about blame or shame. This is about healing. Okay. And I get, there are some situations where, yeah, you know, some people, evil things are done sometimes. I, I understand that. That's, not what I'm saying, I just mean um, healing is what's on the menu here. This isn't about pointing a finger. Because even if even if we know exactly who did something to us or you know that comes to light, that's still we're still left with the job of healing. Somebody going to prison for something doesn't solve our pain, right? It doesn't. I'm not saying that that's like I hope you understand what I'm saying. We're, we're allowing all voices to speak so that we can find healing because that's what you deserve, Taurus, okay? All right, Taurus, thank you guys so much for joining me here. I'm gonna move into the extended. If you're interested in joining me there, there are links in the description of the video. I do have private readings open, like I said. If you are interested, um, or excuse me, uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. All great ways to support the growth of this channel and I truly appreciate it, you guys. In the extended, we're going to go into direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and what is most likely being manifested for you currently based on your emotions and your thoughts. So, uh, yes, thank you. I do have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description if you feel called to tip or donate. I truly appreciate it, you guys. It does support the channel more than you know, and thank you guys so much to those who do. Please take care of yourselves, Taurus. I know that you can do this. Um, be gentle. Be kind. I love you. Take care.